voire 1200 degrés qui ont été atteintes dans certains secteurs du tunnel. Et donc, euh, en arrivant sur les lieux du sinistre, après avoir euh, refroidi la voûte, nous avons euh, découvert progressivement euh, plusieurs dizaines de véhicules totalement calcinés, hein, puisque, je le répète, les températures sont montées euh, à plusieurs centaines de degrés, voire à 1000 degrés. Donc, euh, des restes de véhicules, euh, de tôles, euh, de carcasses de véhicules euh, sur plusieurs centaines de mètres de long, et sur, notamment sur 600 mètres, même l'asphalte de la route avait fondu et brûlé. Of the 50 people caught in the fire, 39 died. When I think back now, I was probably one of the 11 luckiest people in the world. It's an experience that will never ever leave me because those people shouldn't have ever died. None of them should have died. The Mont Blanc fire was a tragedy that drew worldwide attention. An investigation began into what had gone wrong. Part of the answer lay in changing times. Built in 1965, the Mont Blanc road tunnel was designed to carry light traffic, not heavy goods vehicles. Wind forward to the late 1990s, and a different world uses the tunnels of Europe. Part of this new economic order is the container truck, often carrying flammable materials. The old Mont Blanc fire refuges and ventilation system simply couldn't cope with the intensity of a modern truck fire. Since 1999, the Mont Blanc tunnel has been redesigned and refitted along its entire length. When the truck caught fire, smoke and toxic fumes rapidly accumulated in the tunnel with catastrophic consequences. As atmospheric pressure was lower on the French side than the Italian side, the smoke surged towards France. The Italian control center switched on the fans to blow the smoke through, but instead of clearing it, they simply fed oxygen to the fire, making it burn hotter and faster. The tunnel's refit has adopted an innovative system, which it's hoped will prevent history ever repeating itself. 116 new ceiling fans have been fitted along the tunnel. The fans maintain an area where wind speed is zero, the point depicted by the yellow line. This zero wind speed zone can be manipulated remotely to control the movement of smoke. In the event of a fire, the fans direct the still zone to the area of the blaze, allowing smoke and fumes to be removed through extraction vents by powerful ventilators. At the same time, the new ventilation system brings fresh air into the tunnel. In this very large technical room, you have two kinds of turbines. You have the, on my right hand, you have the blue one in place to pump the fresh air from outside and to push it inside the tunnel. So fresh air is very cold and they don't need special protection. But here you have the red turbines. These turbines are protected. They are here to extract the smoke and extract the hot air in case of fire inside the tunnel. With the smoke under control, the rebuild addresses the provision for refuge and escape. The old fire rooms along the edge of the tunnel were death traps, quite unable to cope with the ferocity of a high-intensity blaze. The escape system has been entirely rebuilt, with new safety shelters capable of withstanding heat up to a thousand degrees centigrade for four hours. I'm entering now in the safety shelter. The safety shelter is a place where you are completely safe. The only thing you have to do is to wait for further instructions. And the further instruction will come through this uh, video system. And through this video system, I'm able to enter in contact with the operator. I push. Bonjour, we are in the shelter number 16. Yes, you are there and now you wait there. 
Okay. Our rescue team will be arriving in two minutes. Okay. So the operator said me that I have to wait here for the rescue team and the rescue team will come through this door. The key innovation in the new rooms is that this time they're connected to an escape tunnel that leads to the French and Italian exits. To the escape corridor and you follow me, normally the rescue team will open the door and we are now under the way and you have Italy here and friends here. The new Mont Blanc tunnel is an old structure that has been rebuilt, but it will never be risk-free. We will never say that. We did the maximum to avoid uh, terrible consequences to an event. But uh, nobody can say that we will never have an event in the tunnel. 180 kilometers away in Switzerland, the brand new Loschberg Tunnel has also learned lessons from the Mont Blanc Road Tunnel disaster. Opened in 2007, it's a dual bore rail tunnel. The escape system here is on a grand scale, capable of dealing with 1,500 passengers. Loschberg is the third longest tunnel in the world at 34.6 kilometers long, three times the length of the Mont Blanc Tunnel. To cope with the size, here the ventilation system is colossal, built to deal with a high power fire reaching a thousand degrees centigrade. So we're here in the ventilation center of the Lochberg base tunnel. There are two such centers, one here, 150 kilometers north, with two ventilators. Each of them can pull 200 cubic meters of fresh air into the tunnel system. This ventilation system is crucial for the security in the Lochberg tunnel. It's used to take out polluted air in case of a fire from the railway tunnel uh, tubes and takes it out outside. Here we see how fresh air from outside is brought through this noise reducing walls into the ventilator and is pushed with force into the tunnel. It's now running only at 25% of its capacity. In case of an emergency, if it would run full speed, it would burst our ears. But now it's quite quiet, that's why we can still talk. Loschberg also addresses the need to get the emergency services in as quickly as possible. At Mont Blanc, the firefighters were obstructed by the heat, smoke and darkness. Here, the system boasts the ultimate and early response, the fire train. Also, bei einem Alarm, Brandalarm, wird es fünf, fünf, sechs Minuten gehen, mit beiden Wasserwerfer. Und dann lassen wir knapp bei 5000 Liter raus und haben 50 Kubik dabei, also das ist relativ schnell, wäre es leer. The train isn't just about fighting fires, it's also a mobile hospital. Der Zug zu trennen in...